Department of Environmental Quality says the wind has actually turned in our favor today, but researchers say that bad air days like today could not only impact our bodies, but our mental health. If you look at what's happening on an annual basis with our air quality, on average, our air quality is actually pretty good compared to other places such as Los Angeles. What makes Utah different, though, are what researchers at the University of Utah call peak events. We experience high ex levels of exposure to ambient air pollutants in a short period of time. Wildfires bring those high levels of exposure to PM 2.5, or pollutant particles. But Utah's mountains also make it so peak events happen in the winter as well. The way that the mountains actually um, force the air into a certain pocket, unless there's precipitation, the air pollution will actually build up from day to day. Air pollution is considered an irritant to the body, and these professors are looking into how our body reacts to inhaling that irritant. What they're finding is it can lead to inflammation on the brain. If we think of inflammation as the body's response to threat, uh, in this case, the body is responding, and it typically responds the same way people respond when they get the flu. So they tend to feel a little bit less energy. They t tend to feel like they want to stay inside, maybe get a little dehydrated. Living in high elevations, Utahns are already living in a mildly hypoxic state, meaning our oxygen supply is already limited. Then pair that with some high levels of PM 2.5. For folks who experience depression or bipolar disorder, this particular irritant or trigger can worsen the symptoms that they're experiencing, and they might actually go from feeling uh, mostly sad to feeling really sad, and so it can be an acute risk factor. The study is ongoing, but one thing researchers are certain of, bad air days impact us more than we think. Pull back on your time spent outside and the type of exercise that you're, you're doing outside, especially if you're in certain vulnerable groups, the older or younger. Now, a good rule of thumb is if you can smell smoke in the air, that means the air pollution is at unhealthy levels. In Salt Lake City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.